in the latest news, the guy, James O'Keefe, the guy who exposed Acorn, unfortunately, he got caught up in his own little scandal. Down in New Orleans, him along with three other guys, they tried to pull the stunt on Senator Mary Landrieu, the Democrat from Louisiana. She's been recently in a lot of controversy because she got over $100 million for her part to vote for the health care beneficial package. And um, Republicans soured on her and also a senator from Nebraska by the name of Bill Nelson. Those two are more moderate to conservative leaning Democrats. And they're coming from states where Republicans have more of a control. And James O'Keefe is trying his best to expose the liberal lies and try to set the record straight and try to promote the conservative agenda. Unfortunately, his way of doing it is gotten him in a lot of hot water. The FBI is now probing into him and four other guys because he tried to pro probe um, Mary Landrieu by bugging her phone, and that's a felony. Many other things happen in the media. We see that Air America the radio network that's been affiliated across the country, it folded last week. You know, that's a big disappointment in uh, progressive radio. You have Rachel Maddow, you have Montel Williams, you had The Ring of Fire, you had Ron Reagan, and you had Anna Marie Cox. You had many people who had progressive voices out there in the dominating field that's led by Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity, and Laura Ingram. In the media, you got so many people who are screaming back and forth about their issues and they're just dominating the, the whole agenda. And it's probably giving you and millions of others gray hair because you're worrying about what's going on and you worry about your future. And that's fine. I try not to worry about what talk radio says because you don't have to always agree with the conservative voice or the progressive liberal voice. You don't always have to take the populist stance. You don't have to take the passive stance. I mean, this is just a part of America because they have a voice out there, and you don't have to agree with it. You can always change the channel. But with their America lost, that's another blow to the Democratic Party because the Democratic Party needed everybody's voice out there. Now, you know there's plenty of other progressives out there. There's Stephanie Miller, Ed Schultz, Alan Combs. You have Randy Rhodes, Mike Malloy. You have Tom Hartman. You got a whole slew of independent voices out there who are willing to step up where Air America left off. They're not going anywhere. As long as they still have a voice on radio, you still have progressive talk radio. So dismiss all that talk about liberal radios dead. It's still around. You just got to go ahead and listen, and you got to understand that there are two sides to this fence, and it's not always going to be Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck. Now... With the Supreme Court decision, David Bowles of Citizens Unite had tried to make a movie called Hillary. Along with John Ziegler and Dick Morris and many other conservative activists, they tried to paint Hillary Clinton as a monster. Well, they tried to run it in a few states, but the Supreme Court had gave them the boost they needed. After a lower court had tried to dismiss their charges, they appealed to the Supreme Court, and in a 5-4 decision, now corporations are people. Corporations now can funnel money into anything. That includes unions. That includes people with corporate beneficiaries, unknown groups. Anybody can put money into smearing a candidate, and it's going to be perfectly legal. So, you know, this is a benefit for the conservatives. The conservatives are having a good week. They won Massachusetts. I want to say congratulations to Michael Steele on having... Scott Brown win Ted Kennedy's seat. I mean, I thought Michael Steele was a bumbling fool. And many of the Republicans are kind of nervous about him because he's the first African-American to lead the party itself. And his missteps are hurting the Republican Party. And they're threatening him by telling him to shut up or get out. Now, the Tea Party movement. The Tea Party movement's been growing ever since 2009. I went to a couple of the tea parties. I did get the opportunity to see some of the things that are happening at the tea parties. I know a lot of conspiracy nuts are out there and a lot of the birther crowd and a lot of the people who are honestly against President Obama for policies and not because of race. But the tea party movement is starting to lose steam itself because there are tea parties that are trying to hold conventions and 
the people who started off at the grassroots level. And this is coming from the Ron Paul crowd because I was down in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, the people who started off from the grassroots had soured on the Tea Party movement itself because the Tea Party movement's now charging people to go to their events and they're trying to promote these events like their grand ball spectaculars. And the former governor, now Fox News analyst Sarah Palin, and Congresswoman Michelle Bachman are going to appear at this Nashville Opera Land Hotel, I guess, and they're going to talk about the issues to try to defeat President Obama. And it's going to cost you nearly a thousand dollars to go. The Tea Party is not going to play with that. So, you know, as a person who likes to hear people speak their minds, I want you to decide on those issues, you know. Speak your mind. Let it be heard. Hmm. I'm forgetting something. I'm probably am forgetting something, you know. Normally I talk about a lot of things and I try to stay on the point. I want to send my condolences to my good friend who was recently gunned down by the name of Nigel Gibbs. He went by the name of Naeem. Um, he was gunned down in Beaver Creek and he was, was 24 years old. He was expecting his first child in March. Um, maybe you may have heard of him if you lived in this area, but um, I used to work with him and um, he was a he was a handful, but he was a good kid. And I want to send my condolences to him and his family. <sighs> but the whole thing here with our country, we talk about so many issues. And I try to do my best to at least give you the opportunity to hear me out. If you don't agree with my message, you know, you can always rate it poor. Let's not demean one another by trying to attack you know, I do respond to most of your extreme comments, but um, as far as I know, we're human, and this is America, and I'm proud to be an American, and I'm proud to at least share my videos with you on YouTube. So as we carry on into 2010, we're going to start talking about what's going on with the midterm elections, focus on President Barack Obama, focus on Vice President Joe Biden, focus on a lot of the issues that may help you or hurt you. And of course, go to the tea parties and learn from what conservative activists are saying because, you know, I'm open to listening to the liberal views and conservative views. So it's not a left and right issue. It's a middle ground. So don't always assume that I'm a liberal or conservative. I'm trying to be an American first before you label me anything else. So once again, thank you for watching me on YouTube. I'll keep posting videos as long as you keep watching them.